legendary journalist, Funny Marco. It's nice to be here with you. What's it been like living your whole life with a middle name like Looking? Um, I actually, I had trouble spelling with reading and also spelling growing up. Mm -hmm. I was dyslexic. Dys dyslexic. That started my journey. But you still have a career? I don't know how to spell that either. Yeah, but you still do it, right? Or do you not? Do it. You started your career in pranks, is that true? You started your career as a prank. Your career is a prank, is that true? Explain me exactly what is a prank. A prank is basically you trick someone into thinking that something ruined their day, but actually, all along, it was you who ruined their day. And that's funny to you. No, no, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm laughing at the situation of that you're right. One time, I walked up to a lady, and I act like I was blind, and she thought I was blind. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not blind. It's like, oh, shit, you got me. And then that's what somebody was like, how do you feel if the blind community sees this? And I said, oh, shit, I need to stop. Hopefully they never see it. That's why I stopped. Do you mind if we do a prank on you? Let's do it. So for this entire interview, up to this point, we are going to, in post-production, make your head and um, arms and body disproportionate, but just slightly, so the people who are watching won't know it's a joke. They'll just think you look a little off. But we'll correct it now, correct it now. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> oh man, this guy is so good. Goonie Ball's dressed up like you today, out of respect. Trash? Hmm? <laughs> but why, why am I trash? They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Right. Do you think you'll ever be in there? I'm pretty pre pretty. Mm. I'm decent. Are you an expert in anything? Mm, deflecting. Yes. I deflect a lot. Mm. Like, back in the day, basically... Put those down. Okay. You got a text coming through. Oh no, that's my uh, that's my daughter. I just found out she was mine. Oh really? Yeah. How old? She nine. Mm. We took a blood test after nine years. Mm. Are you excited about it, or do you think it's going to be hard on your finances? I said, "Oh fuck," but she asked for an iPad, and you said, "No." Kids nowadays, some of them aren't even five feet tall. Don't you think less kids should be? inside on their computers watching Funny Marco and there should be more kids outside watching Funny Marco on their phones or tablets? It would be crazy if everybody just watched me. Mm -hmm. It's like you. I feel like I watched you and I haven't learned anything, but I love it because that's why. But now a lot of kids watch you. Would you do the same for them? Which part? Would you watch kids? No. Just making sure. <laughs> Just making sure. You have such a funny show. How do you ask such funny questions and keep such a straight face? I used to steal. So when I used to steal, I always help people find their merch or merchandise. And I had to act like I didn't have no clue about it. Do you feel like that, did the karma affect you at all? Yeah. How does it came back on you, do you think? I caught an STD. Why is it that you have such a hard time spelling every other word, but you're so clear in your understanding of STD? Experience? <laughs> Are y'all gonna use that clip? Hmm? I call it STD, because I think that's the clip y'all gonna use, and then people are like, damn. You still have it or not? No, it's gone. They gave me a pill. I actually caught this STD back in what year is this, 2004? No. Okay, yeah, I, I caught it in 2002. Yeah, and it was a girl I met in Vegas. Which one was it? So I, I was supporting a business. Mm. Mm. And that's cool. Yeah.
Who's that? That's you. That reminds me of a younger me. And you remind me of a more older, distinguished me. Yeah. Uh, you're like my older, you're like my OG, I look up to you. What are you, what, 37? You ask a lot of questions when really what we're looking for is an answer. Or answers. Okay. I ask a lot of questions too. Don't I? Yeah. What? You okay? Yeah, I cracked my thumb. Mm. Are you white? What are you? I'm white. Yeah. Okay. Why is race so important to you? No, I didn't know. I know. Are you a racist or you just think about it a lot? No, I just want to care where people come from so I can understand. You can understand what colors on their skin because you need to ask them. Because you can't tell unless you ask them. Because I'm from the hood. If you could interview anyone in the world for your show, would you do it? If you could interview everyone in the world for your show, would you do it? Yeah. If you could interview one person who's not alive, who would it be? Tupac. And you know where he's buried? Would you go to him to do it? Damn. Uh... You're the one who said Tupac. You said it. I mean, whatever's comfortable for him, out of respect. Dead. What do you think you're gonna get out of interviewing a dead person? I, don't, I mean, I heard he wasn't dead. Are you trying to blackmail me? Mm -hmm. mm. President Joe Biden is a big fan of yours. Is? Yes. I didn't know that. He said. He said he's been a fan of you since. You can't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I bet. What do you mean by that? He be sleep a lot. Don't we all sleep? Uh, well, he fell asleep on the bike and fell off. Isn't that something that's pretty relatable? We've all done that. You like to talk politics? No, I don't know what that means. You made a remark negatively about a political person. Who? You're trying to influence your followers into voting a certain way, correct? <laughs> no. It just... That's what you were saying. It seems that way. No. You follow sports at all? Yeah. My favorite person, um... I got... With sports, Kansas City. I don't care. Oh. I don't care. <laughs> that was rude. I like the Chiefs. I got him tatted on me. Satchel Page? That's you. And what's the C for? I put him in a Kansas City Chiefs jersey. Because mm -hmm. he reminded me of Bobby Hill of King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people who say, you put the Ma in Marco? You put the ma in the mark of hey, ma. Hey, no. What do you say to those people who say that? I really, I wouldn't say anything to them because I feel like they, it's not going, it's, it's, it's giving sassy. Do you like when people give sassy? Not me. But you sometimes, do you do it? Hmm, I'm alone. You know, how do you give sassy when you're alone? I say period. <laughs> mm -hmm. You just did too, you just did. <laughs> I was sassy. Yeah. Which one thing you could change about yourself if you could? If I could change one thing about me, mm -hmm. I'd just change the way that I... I'd be. That's it? I got a baby on the way. Really? And are they coming? Are they going to be here in the next five minutes? June 15. Oh. And are you excited about that or you think? Yeah, I'm excited. My grandma said just always pray for a healthy baby. Mm -hmm. And are you doing that or? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you already did. It's going to be fine. You already did it. Mm -hmm. And now what are you going to do with the rest of the time? Just, I want to prepare them to get ready for the real world. Yeah. And for people that do the best interviews are detectives. Some of the best people that can sit down and get whatever they want out of you to answer your question. And you said that around four minutes, 32 seconds of the interview. Do you mind if we do a new segment presented by Raising Canes? Yeah. You mind? Let's do it. Do you mind or not? No, I do mind. I, I support Raising Canes. If we have a singer on our show, 
we ask them, can you just do a little, little tune for us? If we have a rapper on the show, we'll say, can you do a freestyle for us? But since you're an interviewer, in this segment, would you mind doing a quick interview for us? Who, who, who? Clean balls. Okay. Oh man, guys, thank you for tuning in to the show of the interview live audience. Okay, okay. And you got big movies coming out, man. What made you get into it? I've been acting. All right, that's good, man. Let's give yeah. him a round of applause for being actually a great movie star. And when it comes to you, what do you feel like the industry has been treating you? The movie industry? Yeah. I guess it's been pretty Give it up for him. He has a great answer. This guy's a really good guy. He's on the star. And the movie's coming out when? August 11th. Is that something that you dream of, of us being in the movies one day? Yeah. I would love to do a movie with you. I feel like we can be in Hangover 4. You're a big drinker. I drink a lot of water. I am a drinker. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you want us to bring up or don't want us to bring up? How do you feel about Bobby? I've never met Bobby. I'm assuming you're talking about your friend, Bobby. Mm -hmm. She your friend too. She said you're a good person. Well, I've literally never met her. She said y'all met. And that makes her a... What? Liar. It sounds like you want to hide your relationship with Bobby on this show. Mm. Oh, you know what's crazy? You can cut it out. Mm. And if you cut it out, that means you're hiding it. Mm. So what are you going to do? And that's how you want to end this, huh? I mean, you can cut it off. Mm. And people are saying you and Bobby do have a relationship, that's true. That's my sister. Mm. Isn't it weird to have a relationship like that with your sister? What relationship? You're going on a tour? With Bobby. And your first stop's in Alabama? For the brother-sister tour? I've never been to Alabama. Is that where your first stop is, though? I don't know. What is the Alabama? Just the brother-sister relationship you guys have. It's, it's giving Alabama. <laughs>